Hello and welcome back to another episode of Transmission Parts ID with Victor Sane. This week we're going to cover five different input drums for the 4T60E and TH440. Starting with the earliest drum, which fits only the 440 and not the 4T60E. Manufactured from 1983 to 1987. This is actually the first and the second drum, has no taper here, and is commonly referred to as the thrust washer type because it has four little reliefs right here to hold the tangs for the thrust washer that sits right here, not a bearing. It also has no inner caged bearing here. And the difference between the first and the second drum is that this inner lip seal down here comes in two variations. A thick one with 0.233 or a thin lip seal which is 0.106. And of course you have to have the, the drum that accepts the thick lip seal for the thick one and the drum that accepts the thin lip seal for the thin one. Now of course you can't put the you can't get the thick lip seal down in here in the drum for the thin one but you can accidentally put the thin one in the drum that takes the thick lip seal and disaster will occur. Third drum also has no taper here. This drum has some overlap between the 440s and the 4T60Es due to the fact it was manufactured between 1988 and 1993. It is referred to as the bearing type because a bearing goes here instead of a thrust washer. And there is still no inner caged bearing down in here. The fourth type, as you see here, has a taper. These are 4T60E only, the not in the 440s. These were manufactured, this one in my hand started being manufactured in 1993. It is also a bearing type where a bearing goes right here and you can see this one still has the bearing. But it also has another bearing down here, a caged bearing down in here. Let's see if you can see this. Let me get you some more light here where you can really see that inner bearing. See it there? Caged inner bearing. Now, like I said, this is the fourth drum. The fourth and the fifth drum look exactly like this. The only difference between this drum and the fifth drum you'll find right here. And you have to use the calipers until you get used to seeing it. Right here, this measures 3.690 where the inner teeth of the clutches go. This is the hub part of the drum. So it is a 3.690 hub. The last drum is actually a 3.390, which as you can see, if you draw the caliper down to 3.390, is considerably smaller here at the hub. Now, if you put the one with the smaller hub in the wrong drum, then the clutches will not be able to catch and you'll have a problem. But if you try to put this larger hub in with the smaller clutches, it just won't go, it's dummy proof. That is all five of your variations of the input drum on the 4T60Es and 440T4. Hope this helps you and look forward to seeing you, hearing your questions and your comments and look forward to seeing you next week. Till then, get off the couch and get dirty. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And share. Sharing is caring.